Hello, fellow wanderers. I'm Andrew, and thank you for joining me as we wander through a bit more of Castlevania Symphony of the Night. I adjusted the audio levels again, so let me know if it's too loud now. But uh, last time, we got bat form, and we got a lot of stuff to do now. So let's see here. Where have we not been? Let's go back to the starting area. I think there's a few things we can find there. Not strictly necessary for progressing, but it might be useful. And a little bit further. Let me know if the audio is too loud now. I can kind of tweak it from here. Uh, the big problem is if I run it at full volume uh, all the time, I'm actually deafened by this. Uh, there's no internal volume control for the game, of course. Uh, it thinks you're on a TV. So let's see. End up at the entrance. Right here. We'll, we'll be coming back there eventually. There are a couple endings to the game. Uh, I'll try and show them both off and... Hmm... Well, why not? Sidetrack time. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see what's going on up here. Well, we have the bat. We can access a large portion of the castle we otherwise couldn't. What do we have here? Monoprism, refills MP. Resist fire. I'm pretty sure it's obvious what that one does. All these items I'd never use. But I'm going to run the fairy for a while because the fairy uses them. Ooh, luck potion. I know exactly where I'll be using those. Ah, this area. With the prisoners. Eh, bloody zombies are not too difficult. Passage in here somewhere. Ah, oh, well, we'll find it later. Uh, if you think those are spikes on the ceiling, you're correct. If you think that it's going to make this room a lot more annoying later on, you are also correct. Ooh, an S stop. Uh, is it physically stronger than the shield rod? Yes, by quite a bit, but it's two handed sword. So I will pass. I can swear there's a secret passage in there somewhere. Whoa! Oh. Ah, we're out here. Okay. This is another one of those areas where, you know, to beat the game, you don't really need to come here. In fact, we could actually beat the game right now. Um, we're not going to. Uh, I will try and show off both endings. I believe as long as you do certain things, you could show off both endings basically back to back. Uh, we'll find out, though. Eh, got some money. That's not bad. No, 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 no. There we go. Keep the lightning gem. Usually the little fairy will actually tell you about secret passages and the like. Okay, iron ball. Okay. Huh. Well, if you got here without the wolf form somehow, you don't need it now. And see, now I'm stuck. But yeah. Alucard make all sorts of weird noises. Anything? Huh, that's a weird style of door. I haven't really seen that one before. I don't think we have. And... Huh. This doesn't scream boss arena or anything. And a church. Oh, Orlocks. Or Olrocks. Hey, buddy, I think you were in your lab earlier. Uh, yeah. Well, he doesn't really, uh, do a lot of damage, does he? Hmm. Alright. Yeah, as you can see, he summons things and throws dart. Uh, that. Oh. You know, I don't know what I usually fight him, because I don't remember him at all. Now, that being said, he really does not do a lot of damage. Uh, so if I can get a copy of that, please stop that. And I think I got it. Oh, nope. That's form one. Uh, hi. Hi. 
yeah. I definitely come back here later because I've got something better than the shield rod to use against him. Uh, I am being a little bit cavalier with my health here. I'm kind of trying to show off what the uh, fairy does. But I might not be able to. He might die first. He might not. Hmm. Doesn't matter. Oh no! Fire! More fire! Yeah. Yes, I am, I am failing this miserably, and I'm okay with that. Please die. Little fairy, are you going to do your job? Yeah, the diamond mail I got kind of trivialized this fight. He doesn't do enough damage to make it particularly difficult. Right through, the, right through the shield. Please stop that. Oh my oh dear. They gave him a lot of hit points. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I don't think I was supposed to fight him yet in some ways. Um, most bosses don't actually normally live that long, so I might have been a little underpowered for him. Offensively speaking. But we get our obligatory life up. And uh, the fairy does not get to show her stuff. Let's come up here. And what do we get as our prize? We get a prize, right? I'm obsessed with the idea that there's a secret passage up here somewhere. Nope. Ah! Echo of Bat. Uh, you do have to get that to get the uh, better ending. Well, you don't have to. You could just be really good at memorizing things, but uh, it definitely helps. By the way, Echo of Bat does that. It, uh, well, lets you see like a bat. How do bats see? Well, they tend to see in the dark. And that will be important later. Eh, good that we made this side trip. It would have been a lot of backtracking to get all the way back here. Uh, what else do we have? No, let's take... No. Actually, that probably would have been way better against Dorlocks. Or all, all rocks. Nope, I didn't really hit Wolf. So, let's explore around a bit. And see what we can find. Oh, here's a passageway. Oh, hold on. I am obsessed about map completion. I apologize. I am completely wasting all of your time. There we go. All right. And down here we see more bloody zombies. Uh, guys, these were challenging a long time ago. They're, uh, they're still not challenging now? Heart backs up. Why do I get the feeling we're about to come full circle? Yeah, I'll take the holy water. Actually would have preferred the holy water the fight against all rocks anyway. Ooh. <laughs> I knew there was a secret passage somewhere in this general area. That is one of the other reasons I like the shield rod. It has that reach. And you are sword card. I will eventually show off the sword card. I kind of want to get XP for the fairy first. Uh, but the sword card summons a sword. It helps you fight. If you max out its level, uh, which I may or may not do a special where I show off max level familiars. Uh, he becomes a sword. A very powerful sword, actually. Um, probably one of the strongest ones in the game if it weren't for the fact that uh, something called the Chrysogrim exists. Oh, yeah. Hi, buddy. Hmm. I do want to go this way eventually. But I, do, I also want to fill out the mat. So... Mat filling wins. But that opens up a secret passage from the chapel. Uh, good to know it's there. We might exit that way because I do have some secret passages in the chapel I want to check out. Uh, but for now, we're just going to kind of wander around. Let's see here. So we're going to fill up the rest of the I bloody zombie. Oh, that's their rare drop. The uh, They drop a battle art. I think they also drop the cloth tunic if they're common. So there you go. Now you know. Something, something, battle, something. 
And then there's these guys. Die, please. Oh, this is kind of a cool looking little thing, isn't it? I don't think there's anything special about it. It's just kind of there. Whoa! I hate you. Please stop. Yeah, I could fight these with finesse. Or I could just do this. I think eventually you become really tanky in this game until, like, basically only the enemies in the very last area are even a threat. So, yeah. It, uh... You know, it... it played well looks better, probably. But I'd rather you all just get to laugh at me, uh, failing miserably at playing well. Hello. And through this area... I don't remember what's this way. Oh, a ring. Your passage? No? No? Okay. Well, money. That's what that is. Money. And pick down some candles. And that leads to another area. Let's wing smash this way. Hop back. Yep. And we'll wing smash this way. If you want to clear the map quickly, wing smash is not a bad way to go. This is the lower one, so let's head to the upper one. Yep, this whole little area is kind of hidden up that passageway. Ah, save point. Uh, nope, but I do wish to save because we did beat a boss. Which is always spectacular. And, sorry I made that boss look a lot harder than he actually is. I'm pretty sure he's supposed to be the uh, one of the last of the optional bosses you beat before you go to the end boss. But I don't know for sure. Don't quote me on that. So, we filled out the map here. So, moving on. We'll head... Mm, is there a better warp place? Get to the chapel. Hmm. Not really, but I do also want to get... There's a room I noticed I haven't completed. So we'll go try it. Bye, bloody zombie. And then, yeah. At this point, we're basically just filling out the map. See what there is to see. I don't need more hearts. Whee! All right. Yep, we'll just go west. Now, there's also another secret passage about the clock room. Spoilers, it contains a bunch of weapon items. Or sub-weapons, or whatever you call them. Hi, Blade. You're really annoying. Come here. There we go. Make short work of you. I really love the holy water. Especially for big, slow-moving enemies, it's really useful. At this point, we're basically just earning the fairy some XP. Hi, you. You are super annoying. So, let's deal with you. Yep, that pretty much handled that. I, I, I really will try to abuse that as little as possible, but that's just an annoying fight. You know, I didn't didn't use one of the boss fight. I was getting really tempted with how long it was going. But, uh, no, no. I will, uh, I will spare you... Uh, watching me cheese boss fights, and even when we get to the point where we have the uh, access to the Chrysogrim, I will probably just use it to mow through little enemies. Uh, I won't use it on the final boss or anything like that. Because it does, in a lot of ways, really trivialize this game. Alright. So, somewhere in this room... Hi, you. Aren't you annoying? You're like the werewolf. There we go. What is up here? I, oh. You can't double jump after you get out of bat form, so be prepared for that. Ah, the Holy Sword. Well, that is slightly more powerful. It's strong versus the undead. Does it do anything special? Let's see. Ah. If you do a Hadouken, it does its little flare-up thing. Well, tell you what, I'm gonna switch off the shield rod. This is technically more powerful. I want to leave out the western exit. All right. Shh, shh. 
strong against the undead. Let's see if that's actually true. Let's see how many enemies are actually correctly typed as undead. That's always the trick, is, is it actually correctly set up to be undead? I think a lot of the enemies are actually mistagged, but that's okay. Let's see here. Uh, down and left. There's the Colosseum battle. I don't think we're ever going to come back here on this version of the castle. Uh, nah, I want the Holy Water for now. It's more useful. The Lightning Strike is really cool, especially because it's got a lot of distance and it can continually hit as long as you've got hearts. Oh. Hello. Yeah, this guy... Not so much of a threat anymore. Goes down pretty easy. Let's see here. I want to make sure there was nothing hidden up above that I couldn't reach before. I don't think there was. Nah. Okay. So that led up to here. But we need to go this way. This is not my favorite way to fly. Being perfectly honest. How did... Oh, right. You have to hug this corner. Oh, sorry. This corner. Just... Barely high enough to hit. There you go. I'm still wearing the crystal cape. I thought I would have gotten a better cape by now. As you can see, uh, in the upper left there, my magic is actually draining as I use this. Hopefully that does not break uh, pots. I believe you eventually get an upgrade that does. The Ankh of Life. We will check out what that does in just a minute. How are we doing? Okay, this one's here. Did I get up here somehow? Just didn't fill in the square? I must have. Right. And you. So are the Mystic Pendant. Alright. I believe those are both equipables. Improves heal item power. It's not bad. Note how many I use them. And increases MP restoration. This one's actually pretty decent. But other than using the forms, I don't really use MP a lot. Um... And MP doesn't regenerate particularly slowly to begin with, so yeah, I'm not going to worry about it. All right, we filled in that area. Well, that puts us pretty close to the next area we can fill in. But I tell you what, we've done a lot of exploring, so I'm going to save it here, and I will meet you all again on the other side until our paths cross again. Have fun, be safe, everyone.